Okay, folks, looking at the thumbnail, you know what this weekend is? Listen, we playing them football games, right? So listen, I'm gonna show you how to make this one. I guess we're gonna call this just a firecracker chicken meatballs. You know what I mean? Super simple. I'll say it like that, because you can call them what you want to call them, but I can tell you this, they fire. Let's get it. All right, so look, right off the bat, we finna go ahead and start, right? So what we want to do is preheat. Listen to this, 475. That's not no mistake, folks. Okay, now that we getting ready, you know, we preheating the oven, right? I'm gonna show you this. If you guys have, if you're new to my channel, this is what I do. When I get my ingredients and I line them out, I get everything that I need as I need it and I group them together, right? So we're getting ready to make our sauce first, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, put a medium flame underneath the bottom of this. Do it like that. Now I'm getting ready to start with my brown sugar. And I've had this sitting out for a minute. So there's no problem here. You see it's still nice and moist on the inside. We just put a little heat under there like that, right? I start adding the rest of my ingredients like apple cider vinegar, a little bit of the salt, red chili flakes. And then if you guys come over here and take a look at this, I'm gonna need a half a cup of this Frank Red Hot, right? Now you guys use whatever you would like to use as far as, as far as uh, you know, your favorite hot sauce, but this right here seems to be like the tool of choice, All right? So we just stop this at a half a cup. There we go. And don't forget, the full ingredient list will be on my website. That's smoking and grilling with AB.com. And look, that's W I T A B.com, right? So I'm going to add this to it also. And then don't forget, folks, we got to use, you know, the right tool. So when you say a half a cup, you don't want to leave anything lying out on the side. Get yourself your spatula and do your work. What you want to do is, you just want to bring this to a boil, right? Right? I'm going to keep stirring this, making sure that I don't have no clumps from my brown sugar. Nothing like that. We don't want nothing to stick. I'm using these hex clad pots, so nothing sticks to this, no way. I'm going to back up off of it because it's putting the aromatic that's running up my nose from that Frank's. Right? But this right here is going to be nice, folks. Okay, so once I come up to a boil, right, I reduce my heat. Now, what we want to do is we want to simmer. Now, we call it firecracker, right, because it got a little heat. We got hot sauce. You saw the red chili flakes. And if you want to, you can put a pinch or two of that cayenne. Just to, It depends on how hot you guys want these to be. Right now, I'm gonna let this simmer for about I'm gonna say about six or seven minutes. Then, after that, then I'm gonna remove it from the heat, meaning I'm just gonna cut it off. Now, you know what? As anything that you do like that, when you cut it off, it'll thicken up on its own. So, don't get, I don't want you guys to worry about like, hey, what's happening? It's not as thick as you want. Now, we're getting ready to go ahead and make our meatball. All right, so we're simmering here. Now, listen, this is going what we going this is what I call the dump and go, right? So, if you guys think about this, this is almost like making the meatloaf, right? We got some ground chicken right here. Look at that right there. Now you can use ground turkey if you want to, or you can make them out of ground beef. But if you're looking for a little bit of a lighter version, something a little bit healthier, for those of you guys that are watching your intake as far as uh, your red meat, this is a great option and it's fire. Now once you got that in here, like I just you know said, this is really like a dump and go, right? So I'm gonna go in here. You're gonna wanna have some gloves on. You don't have to, you know what I mean? I, I make it all the time without it, you know what I mean? For my video purposes, I put it on. You know what I mean? Cause I'm tired of everybody asking me, like, man, your hands stay ashy, A.B.? Yeah, they stay ashy. You know why? Because I keep washing them, folks. But anyway, I'm going to add my, you know, my breadcrumbs, black pepper, and the rest of my seasonings in here, right? And then the one thing that really, really makes me happy, what is that, y'all? That's right, using my garlic press. I don't know what it is about this. It's just so satisfying. It makes me think about my grandmother, like how long she had me in there just, hey, Mr. Garlic. Minced the garlic, minced the garlic. But when I hit it like that, now I don't have to do it like that. Okay, so when you come up with it, you should do it like this, right? Now those cloves that you just seen that I did right there, those are like real, real small. So I went ahead and did some more. So I, you know, added that to it. But don't forget, you guys can check out the recipe. It'll show you that. But remember, them cloves I had were small, right? So now I'm gonna get in here with my hand. And we finna, you know, work. If you ever made uh, meatloaf, then now you know. This is just almost like the same, except it's gonna be a little bit on the lighter side. Now, I've been folding this over, not trying to like overwork it, because we don't want it to just like, I don't know, it become a, like a little bit, like it, it, it can become dense on you, you know what I mean? So once you got it mixed up, you fold it a few times, we probably done raised our, you know, our time of about seven to eight minutes. I just turned that off. We're gonna let that settle. It's gonna thicken just a little bit, All right? Now, I got myself a baking sheet, put a little parchment paper on it, All right? 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these into like little balls. You know what I mean? The key thing is when you making these, you wanna make them all the same size or close to it. I do have a scale, you know what I mean? But we don't have to cook like that, you know what I mean? We can all look at it and you wanna pack it just a little bit and then we are gonna set it down. My oven is ready, so let me show you. <clears throat> so I'm gonna bring my parchment paper and pan over here to this side. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna make a, one of these right now just to see where we at. And I'm gonna give you guys a little, little tip. I could have put a little oil in my hand, you know, on my gloves, just so that nothing sticks. You know what I mean? So you just spray a little bit, pour a little bit, whatever you know you're using. But I like to do this and I like for it to be a little bit, on, you know, what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to make it as dense as possible. Don't forget we working with chicken, you know? So I'm gonna just take it like that. Well seasoned, it smells great. And I'm gonna just put it down right here. This is what you come up with, right? So you can make them as big as you want to or as small as you want to. The main thing is you want them to be uniform. I can see this one here is on steroids, but this one over here is more like perfect. Hey, but do them how you want to do them. And you're gonna need yourself a meat thermometer just to check, right? Cause it's chicken. And I'm gonna show you this before I stick them in. Remember I said, let it just sit up, it'll thicken up on its own. Look at this right here. You see that right there? That's that money, folks. Oh, and it smells good. And if you look at it, it reminds you of that candy. I'm gonna stick this in the oven. We'll probably go about 10 to 13 minutes. We'll check it, right? 475, the end. Let's go. Now we just test them. You know I mean, what we're looking for is 165, 170. That's good. Ooh, they're a little hot. I'll test one more. And that's what I'm talking about, folks. Now look, I know my grandma will be mad. This is what you want to get yourself. Got to get yourself one of these meat thermometers, right? Listen, if you hurry up and grab one of these right now, listen, as soon as you place your order, they go out same day. We got through all of our pre-orders, so now we working. Now for the good part, folks. All right, so after checking the eternal temp, we good there, and you can look at them. They cooled enough now where I can at least put my hands on them or whatever. They're gonna have a little bit of a flat spot. When you use a parchment paper, you can see it cook. That's a nice color, but I can tell you these right here is right. Now, if you take a look right here, I had to heat this back up because after you, after a while, it gets a little bit on the hot side, right? So this is good, nice and thick. You guys got two ways you can do it. I'm gonna do it this way. You know what I mean? You can drop one in here, and just cover it, or you can coat it on your own. And the reason I did this right here, because if you take a look, look at that, right? I'm gonna take one of these football, you know, two picks, like grab this here. Take it like that, twirl it, and then we just set this down like that. All right, folks, after looking at all that eye candy, talk to me. I'm gonna push this out there one more time so you guys can see. I done already ate one of these, and these right here are fire. Now, didn't I call these firecracker chicken meatballs? Anyway, so with that being said, check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and do one of these for y'all. I'm gonna take this one with the football. Hey, and I love this time of the year because you guys get to get the decorations. You can put them out. Just make you feel good when your presentation is just right, right? I'm gonna take it. You can see it's full of that, that fire sauce, right? So cheers, y'all. Now these right here is fire, no pun intended. Listen, firecracker chicken meatball, super easy to make. You can make them before the game, make them in between the quarters, make them at halftime, do what you gotta do, put these out, and I promise you they won't last long, right? These are seasoned just right, please follow. Don't forget, go by my website, smokingthegrillingwithab.com, that's W-I-T-A-B.com, that way you can get the printable recipe, and it's, you know, check out my game day, you know, look on there, search up game day or appetizer, and you'll find all of this right here. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just say this, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I'm not gonna walk off and take these and then say peace, I'm gonna say peace, that you get this last look, and then I'm out. coming back, I'm out. Peace.